Next tonight, fatal road accidents involving drink drivers rose by 12% last year, the first increase in nearly a decade. A large proportion of those accidents involved cars driven by young men. Police have promised to get tough with them as part of their annual Christmas crackdown. This year, the campaign in the West Midlands is being backed by Jane Bennett, whose son Scott died almost exactly two years ago. Bob Hockenhull reports. Four o'clock in the morning, I was fast asleep because I think I was so tired and um, the, the, the doorbell went and uh, I'll never forget that, the, the police <coughs> standing there. Scott Bennett's mother speaking publicly for the first time since her son was killed in a drink drive accident. I thought they were going to say one of my sons had been in a, a terrible accident but that they were still, he was, they were still alive but... The 22-year-old was a passenger in a car driven by another young man. Scott was killed at 2am at this road junction in Sutton Coalfield two years ago. The driver crashed while twice over the legal alcohol limit. You always expect them to come home and um, it can happen to anybody and anybody who drinks and drives could be involved in, in killing somebody or killing themselves. Jane Bennett is helping to spearhead this year's West Midlands anti-drink drive campaign. It's focusing on male drivers in their early 20s. They're failing more breath tests than any other age group. That is a personal tragedy for uh, all of the families involved and for, in this case, the, uh, the young driver who uh, committed the offence. That driver received three years and four months in prison and is still in prison today. This year's campaign will also target motorists who drive the morning after a night of drinking, another rising trend. Police officers in the West Midlands say they'll be carrying out spot checks 24-7. All this against a background that has seen the number of UK casualties from drink driving accidents rise by 3% in a year, from 9,700 to 9,990. But of course, for Scott Bennett's family, he'll always be much more than a mere statistic. Bob Hockenall, BBC Midlands Today, Sutton Coalfield.